Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here. Welcome back to Let's Play More Star Tropics. Well, this is it guys. This is the finale. All that we have left is to beat Zoda in his weird reptilian alien form. Whoa, look at him shooting his whatever they are, jellyfish at us. Uh, so the only two things that you have to remember about this fight are, first and foremost, don't hit him. If you touch him, you instantly get killed, so I would recommend fighting him about two blocks away so he doesn't accidentally jump into you. Most of the time, you're going to be fighting him on this little 3 by 4 grid. Uh, you can fight him outside of it, if, out of it if you want, but it can be a little bit more painstaking, so I would recommend just sitting here, biding your time, just looking for the shots. This guy's not really that tough as far as uh, his moves that he uses. All he's got are these little beams that he shoots out and the, um, you know, jellyfish that you can see. So, uh, just focus on not getting hit. If you've got any more of the orange gun left, as in if you didn't waste it all on the master mother brain computer, uh, use that for sure, because, uh, this is as good time as any. Also, remember that you got three potions left. Um, I would highly recommend using those, not to save your life, but to refill your health bar so you're able to use your Morning Star, which fires all the way across the screen. Or not your Morning Star, your Supernova, whatever. Same difference. So just keep up the persistence, get in the shots when you can. He's a big target after all, so you don't have to worry that much about it. Oh, blah, 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 and then he starts throwing up everywhere. Oh, oh that's got to be one of the more graphic deaths of a bad guy in any NES game maybe I've ever seen. And so even before I can completely finish the explanation on how to fight him, we beat him. He's really not that tough. So there you go. And for that, we get, wow, you've done it. More like, wow, you beat the game. Awesome, just cracking the 90,000 mark with points. Points are really weird in this game, so if you're playing this for points, I don't know why you would be in the first place, but, but you know, don't worry about it. You know, I'll give you I'll give you a nice golf clap for uh, however many points you get. Uh-oh, looks like the spaceship is starting to explode. Well, probably shouldn't have destroyed that computer first. Whoa, no time! Get the last magic cube! All right, we're going! The fat sprite of Mike is going as fast as he can. I swear he is. You have no yeah, we had no time 10 seconds ago. Thank you, computer. I think we get the idea. All right, and with that, we've got the last magic cube. Finally getting our last piece of the Triforce. I've got it! Whoa! Uh-oh, this can't be good. The whole thing's shaking like crazy. But what to do now? What do I do? I'm just a 15-year-old boy baseball player. Oh, God. I have my whole life ahead of me. And somehow, some way, the spaceship explodes, which takes a long time for the whole thing to explode. And Mike escapes in the little escape pod. Yay, where he found the escape pod? I have no idea, but I'm the last one to question Nintendo game logic. Um, I do question the logic of Mike getting out of the escape pod, though, in the middle of the ocean. Because as we all know, Mike can't really swim that well. Yeah, no, and he's dead. Just great. Ugh. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, now I really feel good about saving those dolphins before. It seemed like such a, a menial task, but it turns out it was life-saving. Thank you, dolphins. I really appreciate that. All right, and he left us right here where it all began on Sea Island. Let's go uh, check out how the villagers are doing, shall we? And maybe put these three cubes together and see what kind of magic it unlocks. Welcome back to Coral Gola. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. Gotta say, there's a little bit too much time in an alien spaceship for me. Oh, I can show you how to use a yo-yo. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Pass it on to the next generation of yo-yo superheroes. I'm gonna roast a pig for your victory party. Oh, really? Well, looks like that pig's actually missing. Huh, I must have roasted it already. Who are you? Stay away from here! Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. Remember when we let you into places until you talked to everyone in the town? Good times, right, Mike? Great times! Want to go fishing? Have you mastered the ABCs of fishing? Well, I don't know. Kind of gave up fishing after the whole uh, Peter the Parrot incident, to be honest with you. Where do you come from? Spacey Cola? Well, I guess I technically do. From outer space. Oh, you're fantastic. Well, you were really worthwhile to come over and tell me that, weren't you? It's already returned. He's waiting for me. Oh, is he now? Well, it would be rude of me not to talk to everyone in the town after I've gotten so accustomed to it. You rescued Dr. J, didn't you? That's Radicola! Well, actually, that's not Radicola. Radicola is apparently a, a village full of warrior women, as we discovered way back when. Welcome back. Yes, yes. What about you? Ah, oh, Miss Coral! Oh, I, I still have the bananas in my ears. <laughs> I would love to see me fighting Zoda with bananas in my ears. Let's celebrate with some cola. Good idea. 
Oh, that's refreshing. Nothing like ending the game on a really high note of having full health, I tell you. What about you? Anything special? You've done it. Yes, I have. Thank you for that. I guess it's something. Oh, Dr. J. Mike, you've returned! Oh, you have the three magic cubes! I knew you could do it! Yes, yes I could. The monsters have disappeared from the islands. Mike, our island is forever indebted to you. Why do I keep on giving him an Indian accent? Oh. Rob here, Captain! Circuits indicate success! Circuits indicate success! Woo! I don't know if you had to say that twice, Rob. Maybe your circuits are malfunctioning, actually. You risked life and limb. I know you almost gave up your quest. But I'll tell all, you battled like a hero under the Southern Cross. Yes, I did. Just like a true 15-year-old hero would. Now, Mike, let's join the three magic cubes together. Good idea, Dr. J. What could combining the three pieces of Triforce cause to happen? Who knows? Red, blue, and green. Oh, and they start to melt together. What could this possibly be? Dun, 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 dun. I feel like we should have the uh, Zelda Find Treasure music playing right about now. And we get... They're transforming! Something is happening! What could it be? Oh, it's kids. A bunch of kids. Well, that's weird. Oh, that one speaks. Listen. Hi, I'm Princess Micah, daughter of the Argonian leader. Argonians? I wonder if there was a lawsuit, because Argonians are the reptile race from the Elder Scrolls series. I wonder if there was any sort of a lawsuit about this. Um, also, these guys really, every time I see them, they remind me of the Seven Dwarfs. I swear, we got a, the back left, you got Sleepy over there, or Sleazy, one of the two. Um, the back there, you got Grumpy. Up in the front right, you got a Dopey right there. And of course, who could forget the Asian Dwarf, my personal favorite. But, uh, anyhow, so we've rescued the Argonian children, the last of their race. I don't know if you can repopulate a race just with seven people. I know there's got to be a number for it. There was a Star Trek Next Generation episode regarding that kind of stuff. Anyhow, I digress. Many kids live on the island. I know the chief will welcome you here. Yeah, I'm sure he will. I mean, this island is dangerously underpopulated. Oh, seven boys and girls, we welcome all of you. It's your new home. You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. I guess so. It's a religious cult that it is. Tonight is the party. We will be a great feast for you. Oh, okay. We are pleased, and you are so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? It's good to know that on Argonia, they have a banana cream pie factory, maybe. Let's go fishing, everyone. <laughs> that seems like a great all-American way to end it, right? With some good old-fashioned fishing. As the camera slowly zooms out, we get to see the village again from the overworld. All of Sea Island, where this amazing adventure all began. Even further out, I like this ending, actually. It's kind of cool just to see it pan out. Realize how small and insignificant you are. Kind of wants me to say, stay classy, planet Earth. Stay classy. Anyhow, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for Star Tropics. As the end starts to scroll up here. Well, that's it, guys. I've done it. We've beaten the game, Star Tropics. My final thoughts on the game? Well, it's actually harder than I remember. Especially Chapter 3, which was that long chapter where we had to fight that big ghost boss. That was really hard. And then, of course, at the end there, when we are on the alien spaceship, that was pretty difficult, too. This game really has peaks and valleys as far as the difficulty rating is concerned. Um, but it's really fun. Highly suggest you give it a go. If you have it and you were interested in it, give it a try. Especially if you love Zelda. I mean, I started playing this because there were so many references to kind of Zelda thrown into it. Um, and if you enjoy Zelda games, especially, you know, 1 and 2 for the NES, I don't see why you wouldn't really like this. Mike controls a little bit like a tank, but, eh, uh, well. And as far as Star Tropics 2 is concerned, I don't think I'm going to play that one, unfortunately. It's, it's a little different, and some people like it, some people don't. I am not so much a fan of it, but... Hey, at least we get this cool ending. Kind of reminds me of Fantasy Star Online, actually, where you go see these artist renderings of fighting through and going through different action-packed scenes along the way, fighting the snake, and then over here at the bell or the, uh, the lighthouse. Oh, and here's a great artist rendering of what it looks like for a 15-year-old boy to fight a giant octopus with a yo-yo. I find that to be my favorite because of how ridiculous it is. Our friends, the dolphins, saved our lives. Couldn't have done it without them. Oh, we will miss them very much so. <laughs> here's the grave robber Mike. 
probably should burn that photo. Probably could uh, get 5 to 10 for that one. Here we are using the power rod or super rod, whatever I ended up calling it, to unveil the big boo. Whoa, whoa! And uh, here I am dressed like a girl. <laughs> I think I would have a look on my face much the same. Ooh, when we got shot out of the geyser, wasn't that a great time? It's like we're at a water park, Mike. It's so much fun. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I, Mike looks so weird in that picture there. He's like, looks really agitated or something. I don't know, something weird about his face there. Now that's intimidating. If going through the belly of the whale would have looked like that, that would have probably freaked me out, to be honest with you. Really cool, though. Well, there's the letter. Dip it in water. Get the code. The code is not nearly that big, but uh, it's there. <laughs> oh, how, who could forget when Peter the Parrot propositioned us for uh, some do me so far good times chapter, uh, and then of course my favorite dungeon, the Indiana Jones dungeon, escaping from the giant bowling balls to avoid tr trademark infringement, I'm sure. Captain Bell's ship when it was sinking into the coral. Man, it's like I forgot about some of these parts, and thank goodness they have all these pictures. That picture really reminds me of the Planeteer ship. Like, I mentioned in the beginning that it looks like the Planeteer ship, but that picture right there totally reminds me of it. Easter Island had one of the easier bosses in the game. Too bad for Easter Island people. And then we get pew pew robots. I don't know, they look a little, a little bit more awesome there than when we were fighting them. They look kind of 50s when we fought them. And Zoda firing his bloody jellyfish at us. Delightful, I guess. Pretty cool explosion, the ship there. At least it's not just random big orange explosions happening on it. And there's Mike. Turns out he was a ginger the whole time. Huh, who would have thought? With his trusty yo-yo, shoving bananas in his ears, and like, yeah, good photo op there, Mike. Nice photo op indeed. Well, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched the whole thing. I really, really appreciate it more than words can possibly convey. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next LP.